Hey guys, it's Lisa from NewLifeOnTheRoad.com. How are you all doing today? I thought I'd quickly show you how our bus looks now that it's finished on the outside. Not completely finished, but painted. It turned out white and grey. Unfortunately, my camera won't let me zoom out any further, so it looks pretty close, but I'm not actually that close to the bus. So it's white and grey, and Zachary polished all the silver bits, all these silver stripes down the side that we took off. He spent hours and days and weeks polishing those. He never wants to see another one again, <laughs> so he says. We got the windows replaced at the front, rubbers and windows plus tinted, and we got the little window at the top. We got the rubbers replaced on that one. It used to leak. Oh well, no, actually it didn't leak, but it was just perished. So he replaced those with the window guy in Serena. He did us a really great deal. Um, and then he came back and tinted it. I think you can see, hopefully, through the video that they're tinted at the top bit for when David's driving. Zachary added the beautiful Christmas decoration at the front. So the bull bar, tow bar, whatever you call them, bull bar, is at the front, isn't it? Um, it got sandblasted and painted black. Same with the back one. And the door, oh, I just nearly fell down a hole. <laughs> the door is grey and white as well to match courtesy of the wonderful guy that painted the bus um, who, well David painted it with him David did all the prep work and then the guy did spray painted it that's his business is sandblasting and painting he did a fantastic job so all this side, the passenger side is absolutely brand new all the sheeting was replaced from the top to the bottom the gas box is brand new David had to rebuild that we did put the old water tanks back in just because we'd run out of time. Unfortunately, they leaked all the way from Mackay down to Bundaberg. So we are going to have to come up with a solution in the next week or so. Hopefully I'm not making the camera too shaky. Um, before we head to the Sunshine Coast, we're going to have to have a new solution for water tanks. He wants to replace them. He just hasn't had time. So he built the roof rack. The roof looks really dirty at the moment because of the painting that was going on. It was all sheeted up and it's got tape marks all over it from when they did the sides. It come up extremely well. Um, if David had two more days to prep the bus it would, come, would have come up a lot better. But we had to paint when we painted or it wouldn't have got done. The guy was going on holidays and we needed to be down here at Bundaberg for Christmas. So the new um, the roof rack the roof rack is completely new. Just walking around the ladder. We don't have a ladder to the roof rack, not yet. So David just uses a normal ladder to get up with. That awning that's our new awning there. We haven't got that up yet. We're waiting for the arms, which are at the Sunshine Coast, where David's going to be working for two weeks. So we'll put the arms on down there. The back is completely new. Um, Unfortunately, I think you can see there, he didn't get enough time to prep that around the light the way he wanted because that is fiberglass, so he prepped it as quick as he possibly could. It's looking funny in the camera, which when you see it, you just really can't tell that it's not prepped properly. It's just the lighting of the camera, the video camera. So the back door is completely new, the lock is new, the side panels next to the back door completely replaced. They were rotten or rusted, whatever you want to call it. The back window rubber that was replaced when we bought the bus because that was where all the water was coming in to start with and that's what caused the damage on the inside. So that was replaced a long time ago. Really it would have been cheaper and easier to buy a brand new bus but we stuck with what we got because we really love it. So I'm going to take you inside. These are our stairs which haven't had anything done to them, not yet, they just got carpet on them. Um, just, I can't even remember where we got the carpet from, but we just cut it to the stair sides. David rebuilt the engine cover to block out the noise, it's insulated, and block out some of the heat. Unfortunately the black material that he covered it with picks up every little grain of dirt, dust, you name it, it's awful, can't even sweep it off. So we're going to have to look at replacing the cover, the black cover. I don't know if you can see the dust and dirt in the video camera. It just sticks to it. Now these are our seats. 
this is a bus seat that David bought and put in using the same bolts or spacing or flooring or whatever you want to call it down the bottom as what was originally there. It did not get approved. David had to go and get the tethers at the back of the seat to get it approved because otherwise if heaven forbid we were in an accident the seatbelt would have cut David because it's a spring loaded coach or truck seat so it needed to have tethers to actually tether it to the ground so it got approved now thank goodness these seats got approved and there's seat belts underneath I've tucked them away because we don't need them at the moment when we travel those covers come off and the seat belts come through we're approved to carry seven people now on board the ceiling absolutely amazing it's stunning um, can't wait till we get the new air conditioning in he put new lights in so it's 12 volt lights and the ceiling just looks absolutely incredible hope the video can do its justice he spent mm, actually we he did half the ceiling and then I helped him with the other half what have we, about 18 hours that day he did in the ceiling he did it in one day he has busted his backside. So the cupboards, if you watched a previous video way, way back, they used to be sliding doors that she open up now. Like so. Ah, oh, these boxes here, the best buy I have ever bought. Let's see if I can show you some more. They come from Officeworks. They're not dear and they hold so much. I want to get a couple more. The best buys ever best storage solution so all the cupboards doors are brand new but that was in a previous video splashback we went to a kitchen mob in Mackay and they had an off cut of grey and it just tied in so well um, and it cost $170 instead of $300 for a whole sheet if I had ordered a whole sheet from the, from the kitchen place it would have been $300 but they had it off cut and then they just cut it to what we wanted I took a template in and they just cut it exactly to what we wanted. So now we're looking for an off cut for here. Not that we need it, but I just want the extra protection. My kids are rough, unfortunately, with saucepans and they're starting to scratch and bend it. So the kitchen's done completely. We still have little bits to do. Um, the ceiling that he did will go around our bed. We were originally going to have carpet, but he was impressed with how well the ceiling come up. So that's going to go around our bed now. Um, he has to put Kyle's ceiling in. It'll be the same as our ceiling white stuff. I repainted the inside of every cupboard while we're in Mackay. I repainted the roof um, with mold resistant paint. Our bus unfortunately was getting very, very moldy. So I hope you like our motorhome. Um, we do travel very slowly. We are heading to the Sunshine Coast next for two weeks. I need just to so David can get some work done um, and then we're heading down to New South Wales Ooh, sorry that went a bit dark we're heading down to New South Wales and we will be there for about eight months we found a course for Zachary he's doing year 11 and 12 through TAFE um, oh I don't know if you can see those cupboards at the front they actually the doors have to be replaced with their hinges the hinges aren't working one's lower than the other so David's got to do that next one day. <laughs> There's so much still to do. Um, and the front of the seats, he's actually framing them up. They'll have um, doors on them soon. So that'll be good. The proper door and you won't actually see under there and I won't have to sweep so much. <laughs> I hope. So yeah, we'll be heading to Wollongong for eight months. Um, once Zachary's finished year 11 and 12 through a TAFE course, we won't actually have to be tied down anywhere for any period of time. And I can't wait. So if you have any questions about what David's done on the inside or the outside, he's a boat builder or a caravan builder by trade, um, and we're happy to answer them. The seats were the hardest bit to get approved. We picked up the mod plate, or well, the mod plate got delivered. I don't know if you can see, it's down there. That mod plate got delivered mm, really late Friday. That cupboard there hasn't been finished off. As you can see, there's no door. It's got to be finished just don't know when <laughs> um, we got the gas certificate really late Friday I found our Christmas stockings so I hung them up there um, 
So yeah, the gas was approved, the seats were approved, we do need a roadworthy, which won't be an issue, and then should be registered, fully registered for 12 months, and we can travel anywhere, anytime. So we're hoping to get that done before we head to the Sunshine Coast, um, because we won't actually be staying anywhere um, while we're down there, we're just going to be coasting around. So yeah, that's our motorhome. Thanks for watching guys. It's Lisa from NewLifeOnTheRoad.com. Bye.